ladies and gentlemen, can people refrain from smoking inside as the boxers can't see each other? I <laughs> always have a little look in your eye, also. Cox. Yeah. I'll suck your dick again. Yes! <laughs> I've got baby wipes. Because if I need a shite, I'm not going on with a crinkly crack. Never stared at an anus while it farts, it vibrates. <laughs> Kick that bitch out! Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> turn to a big audience <laughs> TMT, mate. <laughs> Then, so we uh, all made the porno. <laughs> oh, lads. You better throw them past me and not at me yet. <laughs> I'm a cunt. Yes, come on. It's summer. Father's Day is fast approaching, Tony. Do you know what that means? You've got to get your dad something nice. And this year, I think you should go a little bit different. Don't get just a generic bottle or, you know, a bit of aftershave or watch. It's just hacking it. It is, yes, Jamie. It's 2023. And do you know what's big in 2023? What's male, that? male grooming, Tony. So I'm glad this episode is brought to you by the world leaders in Below the Belt Male Grooming Manscaped. And they've released their uh, performance package 4.0, the perfect present for your dad on Father's Day. Let him get absolutely pristine. Because like it or not, your mum is sucking your dad off. Your mum, your mum, or stepmum, is sucking your dad off. Now, do you want your mum to have pubes in her mouth? No. Do you want your mum to have smeg in her teeth? No. You don't. Lawnmower 4.0, manscaped.com. And because they're such great supporters of the podcast at Manscaped, they're giving us 20% off and free shipping to you lucky listeners. So you go to manscaped.com and in the promo code, it's Green Room for 20% off, free shipping, and get your dad a five day present you'll never forget. Guys, we are proudly brought to you today by Manscaped, the world leaders in male grooming. Tony, it is important to give your balls that extra bit of TLC, okay? It sure is, Jamie. Your initials, TLC, tender, love and care, Tony Carroll. <laughs> That's what they call him, mate. And part of his reason is because his bollocks smell pristine. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, it's me balls, it's, you know, do I do all that? You need to be grooming your balls lads yeah so with manscaped if you go on manscaped.com the link's there for you the link is there for you and you type in green room as your discount code you get 20 percent off and free shipping you get all this stuff i've brought this out especially the ball deodorant you need your balls to be smelling nice hey our days graft you think you're getting us up nah mate it could be the perfect gift father's day look it's father's day i hate to break it to you your mummy sucking cock do you want your mum to have smeg in her mouth? Oh, no. So get your dad manscaped. <laughs> Code green room. 20% off. See you on the other side. Give your mum a little wink. And Balls say, ahoy. <laughs> Balls ahoy. Hi, guys. Welcome to Hot Water Green Room Podcast. Just want to let you know, we have a seven-day free trial period for the Patreon episodes. There's over 50 episodes over on Patreon.com. And also, there's live shows are on there, too. Absolutely, Jamie. mate. So get over to patreon.com slash hot waters green room. Try before you buy. Dip your toe in paradise before you have a nice swim in us. The tiers start from £3 a month, and we've got a £5 tier and a £10 tier for extra perks. We want to see you there because that is where the magic happens. Let's get into the episode. Get to the cash machine. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Hot Water Green Room Podcast with me, Tony Carroll. Me, oh, fucking rapid. You on the clock? <laughs> and me, I'm going to take this nice and easy. Jamie H, coming at your co-host. Today we have a special guest, Jamie. Very special guest, all the way from the northeast. James Kilvington. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, James. How are you doing, alright? We're good, mate, we're oh, good. We? We're good. Great. We're just a little bit rough because we had our live show last I night. I've seen it on the stories. Yeah. I've seen you doing a bit of crowd surfing, weren't you? Oh, chaos, mate. Like a Blink-182 concert. Jamie was sick as well. Fucking how embarrassing is that? Yeah. Crowd work, crowd surf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, hey. That's how we do. Um, we've just spent half an hour in each of us company waiting on these unprofessional layabouts. Yep. Just getting the goss. Getting the goss. Um... <laughs> We won't go into the story, it's very funny, because, you know, you'll end up getting cancelled. Uh, not, not not by any fault of your own, but just how mental some 
uh, fans can be online, yeah. can't they? Oh, crazy. Someone jumped in a live video and said some horrible stuff. Yes. But, uh, it was very funny. But it can't be repeated because it gets taken out of context, so It does, mate. And you know what the Why key are is? we worried about that now? What? Why are we worried about context now? I know. <laughs> it's like a hundred like a hundred pods in oh, and all yeah, of a sudden yeah. we're worried about context. <laughs> We've got to be careful now, mate, because we're actually good at this stuff now. <laughs> We didn't think it was last, did we? So no. Well, I feel like I've made it. Yeah, you know, just because I'm on here. Really? I feel like I've made oh, it. You know, that's this is. That. You know, like you like, look like, a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit star. So when I'm I say you, I'm, I keep looking at you. I just, <laughs> want, <laughs> I just want to touch you and see if you're real. Well, you can touch me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> you said so. You said before. You see my. Did you see my stand up from years ago? Yeah, yeah. I seen you years ago. So when was I that how, how old was it? Must have yeah, been, yeah. I've got loads of old stuff on there. Like. I said about, about four, four years ago. Oh, four, right, four and a yeah. half years ago. I'm, 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 how long have you doing stand up for now? That's what I'm saying. Four and a half years. Four, four and a half years now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just took off quite quite fast for what I'm doing anyway. Yeah, good. So I took off. You did a lot of tour support and that, didn't you? Yeah, early yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I done it the hard way. Done yeah, it the yeah, done yeah, it yeah. the. Uh, That's you. the best way, though, isn't it? You forget throwing the deep end. You know what I, I mean? So when I first started, I'd always wanted to. Um, I'd always wanted to do stand up, and this is the cheesiest story ever. But I was one of them, you know, where you're working on site, on building sites, and offshore and people are going you should be a comedian yeah. and not take like your stars in your eyes you should be a singer <laughs> you know, like that. and I uh, so in the end it was 2018 I think 2018 I, I said to myself at the end of it I was working on a shutdown in Southampton I said to me mate I'm going to give stand up a go I'm going to definitely give it a go he's like fuck off it was a lad from Barnsley he said you're not I said, he said you're not I said I am I said honestly I said I'm going to give it a go I'm going, he said how are you going to do that I said New Year's resolution I'm going to, I'm going to do it and funnily enough I went on holiday with my ex-partner, and we, we were on all day, and I got talking to this Scottish couple from Glasgow, we were just talking about comedy one night, we were just talking about really famous comedians like Kevin Hart, different, and he's, he's talking away to me for half an hour, a lad called Gary, Gary Mullen, I'm still mates with him, and he goes, uh, oh, my, uh, aye, my cousin's a comedian, aye. I was like, oh, is he? I said, is he, what's he do, like the clubs and that? He's like, oh, no, he's quite famous, aye. I was like, so I was like, oh, who is it, Frankie Boyle? And like, I laugh, and he's like, no, no, Kevin Bridges. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, really? And he was like, and I thought, he's full of shit. Why would he be, why would he be telling me that after 40 minutes of talking yeah. about stand-up? And so when I went back to the room, I Googled his name and Kevin's, and then Kevin had done loads of retweets, you know, on like his cousin, when your little cousin, he's in his book and everything. So then I just, mint, man. I know his book's class, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then I just started, um, like hounding him on holiday, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, a gig. You know, like, he didn't know I wanted to do a comedy, and I was going, yeah. so, so how did Kevin start then? So what was he doing? And he said, oh, he's done like a five minute set at the Stan Comedy Club, and I was like, no, at all. So then I like rang everywhere when I got home. I was just ringing everywhere, and then I got a little daft spot in Newcastle. I was meant to do five minutes and done 14. Oh, I did, I overran <laughs> on my first spot as well. 14, yeah. Never look back, I never <laughs> keep the time. And do you know what, the I'm first ever set from. I ever done, First ever, set. I always remember it was at a place called the Ernest Bar in Newcastle. I turned up with not knowing what the fuck to expect. Yeah, yeah. I'd only ever seen like Peter Kelly Evans, yeah. Richard Pryor. Like I'd only seen like big, big names. So when I turned up, I didn't know what a comedy club was like. And it was a very alternative night. So there was like a lot of acts dressed up. There was one dressed up as a panda. It was like, you know, like, they, <laughs> do you get what? Fucking open mic comedy, man. It's fucking. So, <laughs> we're seeing the guy who dresses as a bee. <laughs> No, have you seen him? <laughs> well, I turned up with me mate. No offense to me mate. Now he's a rough lad. He's he's, he's in jail now. But like, yeah. <laughs> but like, he's just like a normal lad. Yeah, and he was yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, I'll come with you, mate." So it was just me and him. Oh, me and him no. turned up, and he's like, the rough. He's one of my old boxing pals. He was a boxer as well years yeah, ago. Yeah. And um, I turned up with this open mic comedy. And I was like, "Oh, is this where it is?" And I'm trying to be dead polite, you know, and nice as I can. And she was like, "Yeah, yeah, just sign your name there." And I didn't even sit like with no green room. I just sat in the crowd. And I watched the first like four acts and my mate was going, fucking shite this. And he was going, hey, you better be good. And I was like, no, no, I'll be so me. You know what I mean? And I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, they're going to hate me. They're going to hate me. Cause, and I was thinking, what's my material? I don't even know what I'm going to say. I know you're doing do. quite laddish material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I, I, I thought, I'll, I'll open up. I know what'll be funny. I'll open up with like, I'm in Newcastle and I'm from Middlesbrough. Oh, that's like, a yeah, joke yeah. in itself. Way. You know what yeah, like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, I was sat in the crowd and then they said, they said, um, Okay, our next act is uh, James Kil Jink Kil Kil Kilving Tunt Kilving, and I was like, you know, when they get my name wrong, and I and I got on the stage, and as I got on the stage, I went, "How are you doing? All right?" And I and but I could feel everyone looking at me. There was only like thirty people in the room, and I, like my bottle was going straight away, and I went, "I said, huh. I said, I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Middlesbrough. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a joke in itself. <laughs> I got fuck up. and I got fuck all. <laughs> 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 
And as I said, you know, that was the best thing ever, isn't it? No, like, and as, oh. as I said it, honestly, as, line, like, as I said it, all, all, I, all I remember is all I could feel was, <laughs> mm, do you know, like that's yeah. like the noise that was going in my head, like, mm, and I could just hear like you know, like the fans and the crowd, like, <laughs> mm, and, and I went, I just said, honestly, I said, fuck this, I'm out of here, and I put the mic back in the stand and said, not for me, this, and I, and I went to walk out the fire exit. And as I was walking out, the girl who was running the show was looking at me with like a mouth like open like that. And in my head, I just thought, my dad knows I'm doing this. And he, if I get home tonight and my dad goes, how did that stand up go? <laughs> I go, oh, I fucking walked off after 10 seconds. <laughs> He's going to go, you shit out. You know, like after yeah. I've been going on about it. So I turned around and I said, oh, I'm only messing. I'm, I'm, only messing. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. And I got a laugh. So I, and it was boiling in there and I had a jumper on. And I was bigger than I am now at the time. I was a couple of stone heavier. And I went, fucking hell. I said, it's boiling in here. Good job of a jumper. You know like that, and then people started laughing again, and I just started riffing and, and, and talking to the crowd, and, yeah. and and I wasn't really doing material. Didn't have material in it, like, and then I just off. added a little bit of material on yeah. a story that I'd never ever used no more about losing my virginity and that you know like you know, at a night at yeah, a nightclub, yeah. you know, like that type of stuff, and and just like trying to like pick this girl up and look like a joiner moving a door, you know, and all you know like you know like and it, was getting, it got big laughs and that. Yeah. But the thing I found strange, which you'll know with the open mic circuit, definitely is is as soon as I finished, um, a few of them went, oh, yeah, it was really good, that. But they didn't know it was my first time. They said, how long have you been doing comedy? And I was like, oh, it was my first time. And they were like, really? And they st- were a bit standoffish then. You know, as if yeah. they were a bit pissed off, like, because yeah. like, I'd done all right. You know, and, th- and then I got booked to ho- uh, do a show in Middlesbrough, and then it went on, and I'll tell you a bit more. So you do a lot of hosting then? I was, yeah, but I got, when I first, I'd done another show in Middlesbrough <laughs> the week after. I was dead lucky. With, I don't know if it's luck or what, and I, don't know, I didn't have a clue about comedy, so I turned up this other show. And, and everyone was like dying on their ass, and I didn't know like what dying on your ass was. I was just sat in the back room, just like, like just thinking like, oh. And everyone was coming back in and going, shit, crowd these. But it was just like a load of Middlesbrough lads. So I went on, and there was a show on at the time about um, a program where you had to go missing, and you had to escape for two weeks. Oh, the hunted. The hunted. Oh, yeah. sick, mate. Yeah, that, that program was on the telly at the time. My opening line, because that was on the telly at the time, was. Fucking hell, I know a few lads in Middlesbrough who, who could do that. I said, they go missing for two weeks in the kitchen, yeah, you know, yeah, do you know yeah. after a sesh, yeah, you know, like, yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. and and he got a big laugh, and these lads, and this lad went, Way! he fucking said something, I said, what do you say, mate? And he said, he said something, I said, oh, I said, there's the mic, and he, and he went to say something, I said, fuck me, I thought you were going to tell a joke, and everyone was laughing, yeah. I said, and I was just having crack, and loads of lads loved it, and this lad at the back was watching, and he had Archie Kelly or Clinton Baptiste oh, coming yeah, yeah, come yeah. to his club, and he just, he, he got in touch with me on Facebook, he said, oh, I've seen you at that uh, comedy club, how much do you want for hosting? And I didn't have a clue at the time. I was still working, so I was thinking, fucking hell, what do I say to that? So I was just like, oh, what, what are you offering? He was like, 200 quid. And I was like, so my third gig or something. So it's triple digits. So, I was, just, so I was just like, so I was like, oh, yeah, still sounds. Still double with digits, me. Do you know, and like, so like I'd done this, I'd done this, <laughs> done this gig, and then like Archie Kelly seen us, and he was like, oh, you're good, how long have you been doing it? I said, oh, and by then it was like my eighth gig or something. I was like, oh, it's my eighth gig, or, yeah. and like, because I was just gigging still all Still counting like, then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just count, I'm still counting now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's just me pubes though. I'm on 15 now. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking Yeah, and then man. it just obviously started just doing that and then obviously it went on and on and just started doing like toe support and stuff. And I oh, love sorry. the naivety in your acts. You're just telling them lies and that. So you can't swear to you know. You're not good. Don't do that wanking stuff. Man. <laughs> just, just look over the notepads and go, <laughs> I wouldn't do that, man. <laughs> it's just I think it's just uh, with you, then it's just about you've co- went into rooms and different rooms. You've just, you've just. Well, I went on. You've just, you've just changed the rooms. I told, haven't I, you? That's I told which everyone doing. knows, which wasn't bad for me. But I told with Frankie, and and when I got asked to tell with Frankie, there was a few people saying, "Oh, you shouldn't go down that route." And I was like, "Why?" And I was like, "They're offering me money to go and do." It. I'll, I'll, and I, like Sarah Milligan's book said, like play to any audience you can play to. Yeah. So yeah. I thought. If I'm only going to learn from that. Like I, was, I want to do my main goal is to do the comedy clubs and be headlining comedy clubs all the time and yeah. doing tour, to my own tour and build my own crowd. Yeah. So why shouldn't I do every crowd and have a go of it? Unless someone's doing something outlandish and horrible and racist or something, I won't. Yeah. I won't like tolerate that. I wouldn't go on with them. Yeah. So I won't go on with Jamie. You know, for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've not been booked by you yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do where my email was. <laughs> um, now, I, I know what you mean, because you did a lot of tour support for Frankie. I can imagine some of the, I mean, I don't know what the right word is, but the sort of perception. He's an old comic, isn't he? Yeah, he's the, an old yeah, comic. The perception of like, the crowds would be a bit, 
Yeah, I, think, I think the crowd. I think the crowd. Like, like worse. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, not really. It's not him per se. Yeah, but, yeah, no. but the the audience that have even invites. even. Dude, I'll, I'll tell you about a story about Frank when I was doing a. Um, I, so I've all I always do observational com- comedy. So I talk about my kids and talk yeah. about just life, like a lot of comedians do. I just talk about my life. Yeah. I don't do one line of gags or I don't steal no material. I do my own material. Well, the most write. important thing you don't play a fucking instrument. Yeah, yeah, I don't play an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually I play guitar but I don't use it on stage no that's what it's a cheap stick isn't it yeah keep yeah keep it to karaoke night bios <laughs> stay off my stage <laughs> move your fucking wires <laughs> move your <But> fucking <laughs> wires <laughs> I had to follow someone who dresses up as a bee yeah as a what a bee a, a bee like a bumblebee bumble yeah and you come on and there's fucking honey everywhere you know like I move about I'm slipping on my ass for all this fucking honey what was he after, doing? Going after a bumblebee. What was his gag? Just being a bumblebee, lad. <laughs> Fucked, mate. Go on to your kids, lad. He's, he's got a panda hat. I bet it's the same guy. No, it was a girl, this one. All oh, right, no, he's got um, a bull, a dog. He has a he has a dog character and a fucking bumblebee. On the same night? No, don't double. <laughs> Just two spots. Oh. <laughs> There's a penguin knocking about. Where? There's a penguin, fucking panda, just fucking out, lad. Fires my head. Do you remember that? Um, There was one years ago. It's a sick video. You know the Joe the Chartle Fast Fringe? Yeah, yeah. Where they just do three minute bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's one who comes on dressed as a lizard. And he just goes, Welcome to the jungle, you fox. Is <laughs> <laughs> this Joe Pesky? Yeah. He just does it like New York gangster sort of voice. It's a sick one. I have to dig that out. That's all for it. What were you saying about Frankie then? So, so, the, the, so I just thought, well, I spoke to another another comic before I've done it. And the comics, do you know, like, so me and Milo McCabe had this conversation when we were talking. And he said, Milo said, Take the gigs, do more. He said, like, he said, Learn as much as you can from them older comics. He said they might steal jokes, they might do the same type of material. He said, but learn the stagecraft with them. He said you won't get no bigger crowds and people who are going to heckle you. You're going to yeah. learn loads from it, and you'll like cross your t's and dot your eyes. You'll you'll learn. And I did yeah. learn loads. Yeah. Like so, for example, Frankie's stagecraft is is really good. He's a forty year comic. You know, like as a comic, his stagecraft. Oh, he is handles a room. So yeah. like so, when I was going on in South Shields one time, I think I'd done seventeen gigs, and I was just I was doing ev- like without. I hadn't died. I'd never had a bad gig at that time. I'd never, apart from maybe the first five minutes of me, two minutes of my first gig. Um, so when I went out, I thought, I'll do this new material. And I was just constantly what we were talking about there, thinking I'll try new material all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said to him, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it. And he went, wouldn't do that, Jimmy. And I was like, why is that? You'll fucking die, mate. And he's like, that's a good Frankie. He's like, that was good, that. these are all fucking idiots, mate. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And we're in South Shields. He goes, fucking ill, Billy's, mate. He went, he went, He's try materially and you'll die. And I was like, nah, I'll be all right. I said, and I thought, I know better than him. Like, like I'm an observational comedian. I'll make them laugh. He said, honest, mate. He said, and he looked up the curtain. He said, call them names. He said, you're a support act. Get paid. Basically, call them names. Do what you're here for on this job. He said, other crowds, you'll get like the bread shed in Manchester. You'll get like a, oh, you'll, get yeah. a like, you'll get a nice crowd coming in because it's all, but these are all on uh, cabaret seat and which is no the difference between cabaret <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they're yeah. all on the piss. Yeah. So I came out and I started going like, like, uh, yeah, I was with my kids the other day. Like, yeah, you know, like, you know, yeah, all yeah. that. And like, it was just, just like, you could hear, just, you could hear that. On the podcast, you just hear this. Oh yeah. Do you know, oh, like, you know like, like, like and it's just quite it's chair shuffling. And, it, yeah. and you know when you're like you you're going through and you're getting faster through your material, you feel the sweat start to go. Oh when you sweat minutes is up and there's and still it, nine to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this lad just Plowed said, right through. <laughs> this lad just like Are you gonna tell us a joke then? You know like that, you know, like you know, through like oh, and I turned around and at that I just said, like obviously I wouldn't do this in a comedy club, but I just said, Oh you're from Middlesbrough, that's a joke in <laughs> itself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, so I just said, and I like, but I got angry. I used to get like aggressive when I first started. You do, that's the So I used to get really angry. But it worked at that show. So I just said, oh, you're fucking air, you scruffy cunt. Like that, you know. (laughs) And it got this big laugh. And then I was like, and you, I said, what the fuck? I said, did you shop in Oxfam before you came? And and like, I started getting big laughs then. And then I just picked on them, you know, for the rest of it. But I used to drive home from the gigs sometimes, and I used to ring Willie's son sometimes. And I used to speak to him and say like, "Ah, oh, fucking, I'd like to do material," and I. But you can't like. But then, 
like I was saying, I was speaking to some of the older comics, like Archie Kelly, some, and he said, you've got to just please that crowd. That's the yeah, only people yeah. that you matter. Imagine they, you went on with that attitude at XS Millard. <laughs> 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 right, you, you scruffy cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same as yeah. that <laughs> Fucking hell, lad. That is I think strong. you've got to be a type of comic, though, to get away with that, though, haven't you? Like a Paul Smith, like like even yourself, and like and even you've got to have that sort... Because I've seen other comics trying to do it, and it just doesn't work for them. Oh, no, no. That's you know, what like, I mean. Like, it, some people say, you know, with... Paul especially, Joe, like, all he does is talk to the crowd, but there's a there's a skill in it, in it. It's not It's not even that though because Paul, easy, <coughs> we've got to be likable. With Paul, he's done about four or five shows. I've seen solo shows that he done in hot water for me ten years ago, eight years ago. And he's a fucking genius, right? No, he's so good. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people see him and how he sells tickets, it's because of his crowd work. So Yeah, yeah. But he's a fucking fantastic comic. Yeah, he yeah. Just, 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 he hasn't just got that in his arsenal. He's God, he wouldn't, you can't just can't. fantastic storyteller, one of the best. You and just I mean? see, see when yeah, me and our last like the one with now, our, she used to say the story about him going to the hotel years ago with his uh, when he was ended up getting booked in a hotel on his own. Do you know when he, when oh, he went yeah, on his own? Wank. Years, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. Great story, you know what I mean? But people just want to, for some reason, people love that. They love, well, it's not for some reason. Everyone loves it. They love it when I do crowd work, when you yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. It's as if it's that one lad said to me before, he's not even a comedian. He said, Oh, you still doing the comedy and that? I said, Yeah, yeah. He said, Oh, we went to see Jason Manford in Middlesbrough. I said, oh, was he good? He said, he said oh, he was fucking class. He said, uh, well, guess what was dead funny? He said, uh, he said, we were sat in the second row. He said, and last time my girlfriend and her friend went, she was sick. And, and he said, oh, I hope that girl who isn't sick see her again, or blah, blah, blah. He done it. And we said, it's, it's her, it's her. And he said, and he spoke to her for two minutes. It was amazing. And that's <laughs> the only bit he could remember. Yeah, do you know, on the yeah, show, yeah. he was going, and I was like thinking, that's quite easy to do. So like, you think, you know, think like, like most of the crowd come to comedy shows to get spoken to? Not, not, not in comedy clubs. I think in Paul's shows they will, and I think yeah, with Frankie's yeah. they will definitely because yeah. obviously, like, I think people just expect it, don't they? They, they, they? they just want that sort of crowd. Where people, when I host stickies in Stockton, where I've had like Sean Walsh, Troy Ork, Simon Brock, and like the name dropping, Larry Dean. <laughs> so I've, I've had some good names on, you know, yeah. but the one crowd work. What's you know, that club? Stickies Comedy Club. Stickies Comedy Club, Stockton. Yeah, Big yeah. names, mate. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm trying to get you there, but you're too expensive now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What do you oh, mean, lads? Do you know, there's I'm a lot of people fucking asking for you. See, give the public what they want. I've mate. got messages I'm in my phone. <laughs> to my com- I've got people who go to stickies who have said to me, can you get Jamie Hutchinson? Yeah, I love But they all want you to do that. You turn into Bert Kreiser, aren't you? Any, uh, any messages for Tony? Uh, Tony. They just, don't, they just don't, well, that's just the women that message me. That's, that's it, mate. <laughs> just women. Tony's more affordable as well. He's got the greed of Jamie. He's got the hunger of I Jamie. Like st- I, I do have to love me, not the money. Yeah. Love the art. All of the skill of Jamie Hutchinson, but a three star price, mate. <laughs> Listen, I've just, I've just started out again. I'm going to open my comic again, right? Tony, I'm going to put you on the headline in there. See this. See there this you guy. go. I'll put you on there. I'm headline. not ready yet. I'm just I'm still, still learning the craft again. How, how, much, how, how long have you got now, would you say, honestly? <sighs> Loads, but as I'm trying to build all, all the stuff that I've done trying before. Trying to build a new set. Trying to build a new. Yeah. I'm, I've, I've uh, rebranded myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a rebrand. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I like doing? I like telling stories that are true, but then I like exag- exaggerating them in my I do own, that in in my own way. Yeah, you can't even. You I, in my own way, though, my funny way. Like, I, like, I just think. They just get I, stupid. Do you, just get stupid. Do you, you find yourself mean? lying in real life? Uh, Not yeah. lying. I don't mean like. Exaggerating, like, yeah. I'm a, I think every comedian is yeah. a massive exaggerator. Yeah. Yeah. But I like doing it where it's like people are like, is, he, is, he, is this true or not? Yeah, but I do you know it. I, mean? I like the reaction on faces. It makes me laugh. Sometimes I've like... Done That's it why like, I laugh on stage. So I, other people's reactions. I've done it with stupid things though and I think, why have I... Because like, I've got a good wage there. Why have I lied? So someone will come up to me and I'll go, oh, I've <laughs> you doing a sportsman's dinner the other night, weren't you? Because I've seen a picture of me and like Frank Bruno stood next to each other. Fucking you know, you get some money for that. And the fee's like 500 quid. Yeah. 60, and I'll go, yeah, yeah, about a grand. <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking, and I go away and I think, why, <laughs> why, have, I ju- why have I doubled it? <laughs> why have I doubled it? He does that all the time. Why have I doubled yeah. the fee, you know? Like, well, she, like, told, well, she told me you got booked for four figures yesterday, mate. <laughs> I think that was a lie, mate. <laughs> It's not confirmed yet. It's fucking praying, mate. <laughs> oh my god, I've just had this carrot dangling in front of me. Basically, there's this big festival in Blackpool, and I'm replacing someone who's had to pull out. Um, so I was fucking first on the subs bench, weren't I? Yeah, fucking yeah. get your kit on, lad, yeah. get on. So the booker wants me, but it's just if the venue accepts, do you know what I mean? Accept you? Yeah, because the, the venue's got to have all sorts of, you know, diff- you know, different diversities and stuff. I'm like headlining that, so. a festival too. Mate, you tick like eight boxes. Yeah, yeah, you do. 
<laughs> so I'm always here. Yeah, yeah. Man, I got like yeah. eight, I got like four grants for you. <laughs> 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 you even ticked like the the LGBT box as well because you're not technically straight, are no, you? No, I mean, no. <laughs> well, you got to have sex, haven't you? Well, you tried to kiss me last night. He does with kids. Oh, <laughs> we, we, we kissed last night. Yeah, we I kissed. Mean, oh, mate, yeah. I just got another grant for that. He pied me at first as well. I pied me. I felt so- tongues. No, I was on the lips a little. Smooch. Oh, that's all right, though, isn't it? That's I, a drunk he, thing, that isn't he it? He tried to kiss me. I went, whoa. You went, whoa. I was like. Oh, that was bad. That so oh, no, I yeah. grabbed. Them I've got a few mates who are like definitely closet gear, like definitely, definitely, like some of like the roughest lads you could meet, like who are like big hard lads, and I know for a fact that they're gay. Yeah. Like one of my mates, John. Right? I'm gonna out him on here now. I won't say his <laughs> second name, but he's a bodybuilder, so everyone in Middlesbrough will know now. Do you know, cause <laughs> know but like he always like he's one of them lads. So all the lads have a joke about him. So when we used to go to the gym, he'd be like, "How long do you reckon it'll be until Jobbins trying to grab your cock?" Do you know, like in the shop in the changing rooms, and like. Me and my mate Craig were in the change rooms and we're in separate showers, you know, the, uh, the communal showers. Yeah. And the next thing I can hear Craig laughing his head off and he's going, Kilvo, like shout at me. And I looked in and John's going, Way, you know, next to him naked. <laughs> and then one time he turned up in my house. And we were going out years ago. <laughs> turned up in your house? Turned up in my house years ago. <laughs> and I said, oh, fucking hell, I said, you turned up early. And I was only joking with him. And I was having a piss. I was stood at the top of the stairs. And I turned around and he's at the bottom of the stairs. I said, uh, I've just had a wank there. I said, I've still got pre cum on my dick. And like, instead of him just laughing, he was like, he ran up the stairs and went, let's have a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck off you weirdo. She's going, let's have a look at that. You know what I mean? It's a joke. Yeah. Like, he wants a little spot, did he? Yeah, he wants to go I a always have a little look in your eye also. Cox. Yeah. I have a look. Is it, it, it to compare to, to yours? No, I just like to see what's going on. Just so curious. See so what the score is. Yeah, yeah. Saw Ramol a few weeks ago. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, what I'm I don't look at people's dicks yeah. like. You don't what? Don't look out of people's dicks. People I do the fucking well, funny one. People do well, fucking. Are you pissing your rhinos as well? I never really pissing your rhinos. I love yeah, I do. Yeah, because everyone always thinks I'm going to do sniff when I because I go to the the, the cubicles. cubicles. Yeah, I've I go to cubicles. Because I don't like the splash back as well. Yeah, yeah, it bounces off you, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, I love all that, mate. I love it when it's got piss on the floor as well. I said, as Joe, I love the smell of though, them little yellow things in the urinals. Urinal cakes. Yeah. yeah. I love the smell of piss, man. I don't like them, mean. What did you say? I love the smell of piss, man. What type? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that warm in it. Yeah, but would you like the smell of animal piss or just human piss? Oh, Joe, human. I love though. I love a, an old boozer. And you go in, the ale's on the carpets. And yeah. yeah. Them, them yeah, yellow things I mean, in the toilets. Moss. And then. Yeah, yeah, that pissy smell, yeah. yeah Still got yeah. ashtrays inside. See, that, yeah. <laughs> See that, that? Sometimes that gives me a little bit of anxiety. A pint of bitter. Because it, oh. reminds, it reminds me of... Um, my when child. I, when, I, yeah, yeah, my ch- <laughs> <laughs> when I was locked up. By a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> well, when I boxed, I boxed in the social clubs when I first like, was oh, boxing. Oh, yeah, so, so their social so clubs were pretty much similar. So, like, so, like, obviously, when, we, I boxed, when I was boxing, there was still the smoking ban wasn't up. So well, there was one time when I was fighting on a show and I was about to go into the ring and the ring announcer went, ladies and gentlemen, can people refrain from smoking inside as the boxers can't see each other? <laughs> that's what he said. The boxers fucking hitting the referee. <laughs> Honestly. That's oh, bad time. I, just rem- I always remember it. You know, I remember it as a memory. Like, you know, like, and, and you Did you fight professionally or just amateur? Was I, w- it? I turned over professional. I, yeah. I had a lot of am- uh, amateur fights. I went over Floyd Melvin's gym in, in Vegas. I was oh, did you? Trained over. I know he's had like, um, like you had Natasha Jonas on here, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, say, I, I listened to that one when I was driving up. I thought I'll do a little bit of research on the pod and that, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, box. I would meet someone Natasha. She's brilliant. I thought you were going to say Mayweather. Then. No, not Mayweather. Yeah, well, yeah. Nah, Natasha. Flo- I love Mayweather. Though, was Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. How that happened? I'd had I'd had about 40, 50 fights at the time. I was turning professional. Because I was working offshore as well. See, obviously, she probably told you. I didn't listen to the full episode. But professional boxing's bullshit. Like yeah. unless you've won an Olympic gold medal or you've. Terms of money. Oh, it's shite! Yeah, right. Like the worst money you like, like. Every box will tell you, like it's bad unless you're a journeyman. Yeah, they say they say you've got to get to like twenty and all before you start. Oh yeah, anything. some of my mates are European champion now, and they're not even making good money. Sponsors yeah. are paying. Sponsors make the money. Yeah. But if you're like a journeyman, you'll get money. But it's so like. Why is that then? Because, because if you, they're, they're just taking. They don't money. have to sell tickets, do they? Yeah, they're just taking a dive basically to forget what someone else is. Not a dive, but so they're just they're just doing someone else's record. So, yeah, say, to, so say yeah. Tony. So say Tony's an up and coming boxer, and yeah. I'm a journeyman. Yeah. yeah like yeah. and but I'm, I've had a hundred fights. One eleven, but I've never been knocked out because I'm a tough journeyman. They're like, give him a test, but don't like, 
But if you knock him out or you beat him, you, you know, you're done for. You know, because they're never going to shot a lad who's had a hundred fights with eleven yeah. wins in for a world title, are they? That's they're fun. never going to. That's a. It seems it's, a. It's all politics, mate. It's, it's a fair way to fucked, do it, isn't it? That's why, obviously, Amir, Amir Khan got found out when he fought Prescott years yeah, ago because yeah. he'd had a load of duck eggs to box. Don't get me wrong, he was a fantastic amateur boxer, but they just padded him that look much. If, look at Tommy Fury, though, as well. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he, he's, he's faced that fucking YouTuber. Right. And it's before that, all his all, all fights, he had seven before Jake Paul, so, and they, they were all just, they were all journeymen. He's yeah, probably yeah. still... He's probably still a, you've got to fight a journey. Bro, you can't I think just he's still there. He's only a kid as well. I think, I think he'll be all right, but he's going to be a world champion. So when, no I, way. when I turned yeah. over professional, I turned over and, and I was going to sign a guy in Leeds and my first fight was going to be on the Stuart Hall undercard. He was he won a world title. He's from Darlington and he won a, the IBF world title on that yeah. night in Leeds Arena. And they said, oh, I've got you to fight there. It was on the 23rd of December. I can't remember what year it was. I was still like, I was 12, 24 year old. And he said, how many tickets do you reckon you can sell? And I was like, oh, I'll fucking sell loads. I'll sell loads. And he's like, no, no. He said, D- you've got, he said, you got, he said, I'm going to be honest with you. He said, can you sell a lot of tickets? And I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, because he said, people will tell you I'm going to go. He said, but near Christmas time, 23rd of December. Yeah. He said, people won't be spending the money. He said, you've, do you reckon you can sell three thousand pound worth of tickets? So I was like, mm. I was like, uh, pr- I was like, how much are the tickets? He's like forty quid, fifty quid, eighty quid, hundred and twenty. Like, I was like, uh, yeah, I should. So I messaged a few of my mates. I was like, and he was like, some of my mates like, oh, I'll get a bus full. Anyway, I said I will sell them. I said, yeah, I want, I want, I want the fight. I want to turn professional. I want to have this fight. And then like he was like, I said, do I get the three thousand pound then? And he was like, oh no. He said, uh, one thousand five hundred pound goes to your opponent from Belarus who's coming over to box you. Who's had like a hundred fights, won ten yeah. or something, and he, I said, "Oh, so do I get the fifteen hundred quid?" He's like, "No, no, no." He said, "Because five hundred quid will go to Sky Sports." So now I was like, "Fucking hell!" I was five like, so they get five hundred." Yeah, to go because they're showing you on the telly. This is at the time. This is oh the, my god! I don't know if this guy was trying to rip me off at the time, and I was Definitely like, "Right." Was. And so I was like, "I was like, all right." So I'll get a grand. He was like, "No," because then twelve point five percent goes to me as your coach. Twelve point five percent goes to the promoter as well. So I said, "So I get seven hundred and fifty quid." He went, "Yeah, but you have to sell." the three thousand pounds worth of tickets first. I said, Well what happens if I sell over that? He's like, Oh, you get ten percent of each ticket. You, do you get what I'm saying? So like that's how like brutal it is, you know. And then anyway, cut a long story short, the the lad didn't get a visa to come over, so they said to me, Oh, there's a lad from Leeds, he said he's had twelve one twelve, but he hasn't knocked anyone out. But they're trying to match you up with him. But I don't want you to box him because he's had twelve and twelve and you've had you've had a lot of amateur fights and you've boxed open class like but I think we should pick you a journeyman, so we'll miss this fight and we'll get you another fight. And it kept coming on and off, and then I got a phone call to go back offshore. And at the time, it was a couple of grand a week to work on yeah. an oil rig. And I thought, fuck that, I'll go back away. You know, and then all the lads are like, thought you were fucking gun pro, you fucking lying bastard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was sat, you know, in that smoking smoker's hut offshore, like looking at these pro lads on the telly going, could have been could the champ. Be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. you know, you, you miss I it? went depressed. I went, I went really, honestly, joking aside, I did go depressed. Because I went out to Floyd Mayover's gym. And that was like my dream. I thought I want to make Floyd me over. Yeah. And I went to uh, Vegas and when I was out there, I said, Was Freddie Roach there then? No, Freddie's not his coach. Oh, was no, he? Was Freddie's I Manny Pacquiao's coach. Manny Pacquiao. I, thought Freddie was, was I went to that gym as well. That was Wild Card Gym in California. Yeah, so yeah, I went sorry, there, yeah, I went yeah, there yeah. first, but Freddie wasn't there. He was in Vegas at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And then I went over to, we flew over to Vegas and um, I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to turn up with my boxing gear. I'm going to just turn up. Well, the first day I didn't. I said to the taxi driver, I went, everyone had spoke so high of Floyd Milver and it was in he was in magazines and that. He was fighting my Dan my, my Dana for the second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Second he was having the rematch, even though he beat him, people said it was close, so he was having a second fight with him. That's one of the ones where it was close, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. And then he battered him the second two. fight, didn't he? He just like schooled yeah, him. Yeah, just absolutely and, schooled him. And uh, at the time I said to the taxi driver, I said, Can you take us over to Floyd Milver's gym? He's like, Why do you want to go there? I was like, just to see the Milver gym. I said, I want to get a picture outside the TMT and he was like he won't be in I was like I didn't say that mate I was like and it was the first American I've ever met it was like aggressive you know? oh, I, was thinking, I was thinking fucking hell do you want your fare you, just drop me up he's like, so he took me to Chinatown and I turned up and, and I was just stood and I was getting a picture outside the door and uh, it was all, it's all tinted windows and, and then like I pushed the door I thought I wonder if it's open and as I pushed it open, you know his big security guard, the big massive one. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen him who hangs around? Yeah, yeah. He answered the door, he's like, Can I help you, sir? Like that. And I was like, Oh, sorry, mate. I said, uh, I, I just I just was getting a picture and I got a bit nervous. I was like, I was just he's like, Where's your accent from? I was like, England. He was like, What do you mean you wanted a picture? I was like, I was like, Oh, I'm a boxer. I said, I'm from England. I just want he's like, What, you came all the way from England just to get a picture here? And I was like, I thought, yeah, fuck it, I'm milking this. I went, Yeah, yeah. Even though I was on holiday. I went, Yeah, yeah. I did and he was like 
He's like, fucking come in. You know what I mean? So he brought me in. As, as he brought me in, Floyd Mayo Vecini was straight there. Oh, Got loads of pictures that. and videos of him. I'll show you them. You can have a wank to them. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and Not Big John. <laughs> <laughs> big John shout out. And... Uh, have so you ever seen you said I've got some pre-cum here because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that <laughs> <laughs> and as I, as, I, as I went in he was just like there was a lad called Andrew DeBeat he sparring at the time he was sparring with a guy who just beat Rampage Jackson in the uh, Bellator and they were sparring I'm on this video on YouTube actually you can find it and I'm watching the, and they said this guy's from England and like Floyd me over senior came over and I was shitting myself I was like fuck that's Floyd me over senior and he's just watching the spar and he's talking away to us, just having a, like, a, and I'm thinking, this isn't fucking right. This is weird. Then Roger was alive at the time, so Roger yeah, Milver. Yeah. So I was like, and so I'm, he's watching the sparring, and I thought, do I ask it? Do I ask it? I said, uh, is, and because he's dead blunt as well, he said, uh, I said, is, is Floyd training then? He's like, he looked at me like that. He's like, what do you mean is Floyd training? I was like, are you training for his fight with my dad? He went, cause he's fucking training. And he's like carried on looking. He's like, "Use your jab," you know, like talking, looking, yeah, at him. Yeah. and he's talking like to the, the people. He's like, he, like, and then he started smirking. He went, "You came down to see Floyd like that," and I was like, "I was like, oh, I said I'd love to." Obviously, I said, "Like, he's like, okay, he's like, he's coming in at two o'clock today," oh, and I was like, oh, so my head was like, "What the fuck?" He was like, "I was like, oh," and I was so I was like, "Fuck it, you shy kids get no sweets." So I just went. I went, can I suck your cock? And I'm going to do it. Bill, you know that one. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> 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 No, and then I said, uh, <laughs> 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 Just turned to a big audience TNT, mate. So we all made the porno. <laughs> so then I said, um, can, I, can I watch him train? He was like, yeah, yeah. He said, come back to o'clock and I'll pull up a chair for you. And he said, now I'll get you the present as well. He did. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, my head was farting it. And so the present? Roger, I know, yeah. So Roger Milver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll take the present. <laughs> <laughs> never walked the same again. <laughs> That's why I got retired. <laughs> that was it. And uh, so anyway, I, Roger Milver walked me out the gym and he was like, because I seen I was anywhere to eat and he was going, there's Chinese over there. Da, da, and, he's pointing, and I'm walking along with Roger Milver and I'm thinking, this is fucking mad. I was like, oh, can I get a video, mate? And he's like, yeah, cool. And he's like, I'm just talking to him. But he's a, he was a bit like, just was just talking away. He wasn't asked that was video. And I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm going like, he's talking to me. I'm going, I'm talking to Roger Milver. And he's like, just talking in my ear, you know, and I'm, I was buzzing. Yeah. So anyway, I went back to o'clock and uh, sat up in this chair and I'm, I'm sat there like just just waiting. And I was thinking, I wonder when Floyd's turned up. And then all these girls started to turn up in the gym, like like groupies. And like people were like, and then this guy started walking around saying, no cameras, no cameras, turn your cameras off, no video in now and all that. The champ's coming and all this. And the guy from Grant, the boxing glove, was in just putting all his gloves out brand new. There was like 14 pairs of boxing gloves, 14 groin guards, 14 head guards or something like that. I've got it all on video. And uh, in case you so think you I'm, in case you, you, in case you think I'm lying to make friends, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, and, and uh, so you ignore the rules. And I was thinking, no, no, I've got that. The state said when he oh, starts yeah, training, yeah, yeah. and I said, oh, I wonder when he's turning up. And then, and then uh, my ex partner at the time, she said, oh, haven't you looked to the left here? And I looked down. I just seen the Reebok shoe. You know, that like he was a train, and I looked up, and he was fucking stood there next to me. And I was like, my ass went. I'm, I'm not. I've, I've met loads of famous people. Like you've yeah. probably met yourselves, but. My ass has never went with anyone before. That's you know, a like, global. Like, like I was just That's like, like yeah, I was just, and I was just fella. like, and I was like, uh, all right, like because he was looking at me, he was like, yo, what's up? And he was like, but he was getting a massage off this woman on his arms. He wasn't even doing like a shadow boxing warm up. He was just getting, and he was getting his hands wrapped. And I was thinking, I was just like starstruck, and uh, you could see him looking at me with my snide Rolex on. <laughs> you know, I had a fake Rolex yeah, on. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he started doing his training. He trained for about two hours, and he, he said, as he was doing these pull ups at the end. He, he looked at me and he went, I'm fucked. Like that. And he just like, and he was like, he spoke to me and I was like, and I went, instead of doing anything, I went, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I just went, <laughs> <laughs> and he went, you think I'm joking? I'm fucked. He was going, I'm 37 years old or something like that at the time. And I was like, I was like, yeah. And he was like, how old are you? And I was like, 24, mate, 24. He was like, I'm fucked. I'm too old for this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> and I've been, and, he, and I was talking to Roger Milver. And I was talking to Roger Milver. And I said, uh, I said, uh, I said, oh fuck, is he gone? And Roger went, the champ don't want to train, he don't want to train. And I was like, is that him gone? And I thought, fuck, I've missed my photo opportunity. So then I just said, can I get a picture of him? He was like, go and stand outside next to his baguettes. He said, he'll take one with you. And I was like, I was like, what happens if he fucks me off? He went, you ain't going to get it if you don't ask. So, <laughs> so I went out and I stood near the baguettes and he came out and he was really nice. Like he, the first thing he said to me was, uh, I was like, oh Floyd, can I get a picture? He's like, yeah, yeah. And he was like holding his phones. He was like. Show you the picture now. He said, um, 
he said, oh, yeah, you can have a picture. And he went, it was, um, where are you from? I said, England. And I just said, oh, near, oh he's not going to know fucking Middlesbrough. So I went, near, <laughs> near Manchester. He said, oh, Ricky Hatton. And, I, and like, licking his ass. I mean, I'm a massive Ricky Hatton fan. I'm yeah. a massive Ricky Hatton fan. But probably because my ass was gone and I was licking his ass, I went, yeah, you knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> instead of just saying, oh. And he went, yeah. and I thought he was going to start, like, griefing him. And he went, he went, he's a tremendous fighter. He's tough. He's a tough motherfucker, like that now. And yeah, I thought, yeah. oh, he's actually like being really nice. And then who do the English like more, Emmy Khan or, or uh, Ricky Hatton? And I was like, oh, Ricky Hatton. I said he's got a bigger following, like in in England. And he was like, he's like, yeah, I thought so. And then that's what they were saying. They said, they said at the time, you might have cost, hey, you might have cost, you cost me, you might have fight me, haven't you? <laughs> oh well, I've been, yeah. that's why he was asking about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I did. They said they said the reason Khan didn't get the fight because I know a lad who's I know his uncle as well. I still talk to his uncle Jeff. Um, the reason Khan doesn't. Um, didn't get the fight. They said that was because he acted like Melvin needed him. That's what he said. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's honestly what he said. Remember, so whoever comes so in, Khan troubled him. What? When me? Nah, no, no way. No, no whole way, mate. Season Khan fast, like, but I mean, it was class at his peak when he can. Mayweather, mate. He, he beat my dad, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. He got, he got. He took a good shot as well in that yeah. fight. Yeah. There's me and Floyd there. Um, obviously, a bit younger there, aren't he? Well, you said the super crap, Yeah, That's yeah. Sick, and man. then, and then the next day I turned up and bloody. Um, Shane Mosley was there on his summer span, so I got a picture with Shane Mosley in that as That's well when, class, I, when yeah. I was training there. It was class, went on the pads with Roger Milver and everything, it was mint. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got loads of videos of me on the pads with Roger. I suppose that. What did you say? I'm a boxer as well. Well, that, that's what they were calling me White Action Man because I was ripped up at the time, wasn't like, oh, White Action Man? <laughs> white Action Man. <laughs> this motherfucker's White Action Man. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, when I went to spa, I, I sparred over there, it's called the Doghouse. Is Action Man White anyway? Huh? Well, that's what I thought as well. Yeah. Unless, unless black people have black action, man. Maybe, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know? <laughs> You've got a little ginger one. Just <laughs> <laughs> <a> sunburn. <laughs> when, when <laughs> little squashy arms. <laughs> Pink all over. <laughs> oh. No way. When I went, when I went to spa over there, Floyd's uh, his dad was saying to me, he was lacing my gloves up. I've got a picture of him lacing my gloves up. And my hand was shaking when he was licking me off because I was wanking him. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he was shaking. He said, um, he said, why are you shaking? And I was like, he was like, he was like you realise, he said, you got to keep your hands up in this gym. He said, motherfuckers want a, re a reputation in here. And I was like, he said, they try you, they're going to try and knock you out. You know, and I, was like, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. And I was like, but really my bottle was thinking, fucking hell, you know, I've done the right thing here. But I had a good sparring session with an Australian lad and, if he's listening now, I fucking battered him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that rat. <laughs> I think he done it about fucking six fights. <laughs> and I just lied to him. Oh, yeah, I've had none. That's <laughs> sick. Did no, you I did a lot. Because um, you uh, taking it back to all the Frankie's gigs, what I meant to ask before, have you ever had it where they don't take it well? Do you know, like... In the crowd? Do you know, like when they get insults? Because I've had... I've had I've been squared up two once and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've, you, you've not seen the viral video of me with the girl. Well, I was trying to get into that. Yeah. Oh, is that what you're trying to do? Subtly, because I'm a professional. <laughs> and you fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked it up. He <laughs> <laughs> went on that viral video. Yeah, yeah, it made me. I haven't seen the viral video. <laughs> go on, it's gone. What happened? Hosting a show, hosting a show in uh, Middlesbrough at the club where that guy had done it. it was a little show. It was only like five quid entry or three quid entry or something. Friday night, and it was professionals and. Some open mic trying material oh, on a Friday. I know. No, it was a Thursday night. Oh right, it was okay. a Thursday night actually. Just lying. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was new. I was brand new. I think I'd been doing comedy about eight months yeah, at yeah, the time, yeah. and uh, there was a girl who came in who hadn't like. So this is how it ha actually happened. This is the full story behind it. She was talking. I was hosting. I came out and I said, "Listen, I'm gonna have a good laugh tonight." If people want to heckle me, they can heckle me. I'm hosting. I said, but please do me a favour. Don't video and don't heckle any of the acts. I said, listen to the story. Some of them have travelled from Manchester. Some of them have travelled from Newcastle. I said, just listen to them. If you don't enjoy them, I said, don't laugh. I said, that's the best thing to do. I said, because it's nothing worse than being on here with no one laughing. I said, if you think the shit, you don't have to. Like, you don't have to shout anything out because I thought these are going to be quite rowdy, this crowd. I was just having a crack with them. But this girl started talking all the way through. And this young lass went on first. And like, and she was struggling, and she yeah. was struggling. I won't mention the comic's name, and uh, I know you're dying for me. Go <laughs> no, evil. Tell me, Go tell evil. me, tell me. And uh, she was struggling, but this girl was talking all the way through, like rah, 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 all the way through. And I thought, fucking hell, there's no door staff on here, and I don't want to be the knobhead who's going over and saying, oh, the host can't take any crap. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I went and had a quiet word with her on the break. I said, if you do me a favour, uh, just try and stay quiet. If you're going to go on your phone, can you go outside? And she was like, yeah, sure, and all that, and blah blah blah. Anyway. Someone else went back on, she's talking again, she's talking again. When I went back on for the second part, 
I went on to um, like just to 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 um, start the night again, and she'd left the room, and I said, "Isn't that great?" That I said, "How peaceful is this?" I said, "No one's in here talking shite." I said, "The gob shite has left," and everyone started laughing. But as I said it, she walked in, oh, so no. and she went, "What did you just fucking say about me?" And I said, oh, nothing. I said, I was just having a joke with you. And I was tongue in cheek. I went, I said, I said, the gob- gobshite's left. I said, you haven't shut the fuck up. I said, so I was just having a laugh about it. And she went, who the fuck are you talking to? And I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, I mean, but I'm thinking, I'm like, like, and I said, you, and, and, and again, I was a bit amateurish at the time. Yeah. And I said, fucking you. And you know, like, you know, cause, you know, like, something like that. I was like, and that's what I was, I was like, you, you fucking stupid, ugly bitch or something like that. You know, like, I was just like, cause I was just, I was eight months into comedy yeah, at the yeah. time, you know. And she went, because she was being aggressive towards me and she turned a pint oh, and she went no. to throw it at me and I moved out the way of the pint. Like, I, I genuinely, there's a video, isn't it? I move, I move out the way of the pint and the, it goes past me. And obviously you can't carry on a comedy show when someone's just throw a fucking pint yeah. at you. So as I said it, one of the, <laughs> one of the bar lads walked in and I, I was fuming. I said, I said, yeah, I'm going kick them. I'm like, I said, because my mates all wound me up at home. Not the comics. They all go, why did you turn American? Because I went, kick that bitch out. <laughs> kick that bitch yeah. out. <laughs> kick that motherfucker <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, like, you know. Oh, and, it was a nightmare. Oh. No, and I was going, I was going kick. I was like, and she was going, why are you trying? I was like, rah, 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 you know, like sounding like whales under the water. And I was just like, I was like, listen, I said, you can't fuck. I said, you've, you've just went to throw a pint. You can't leave. And then. And then, like, she's going off and she went... She's actually said it before, though. She went, I'm going to fucking punch you. That's what she said. And I thought, here we go. And she stood up. And as, as she stood up, it was like a... Ooh. Yeah. And she cocked it, you know, before it. And I thought, I've got to block this here. Because I thought, I could see a fist, you know. know. And she threw it and I just moved out the way. And uh, and that's when, like, it went obviously went viral. Because yeah. then I'd done, like, about two minutes after, didn't I? Yeah, just them grilling had sessions with uh, Rogers paid off them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> When they, uh, I moved out the way, it was like, then the paper, but the papers got in touch with me a year later after that, because I put it on TikTok or something, or someone put it on TikTok. What was the reaction like in terms of trolls, people being for you or against yeah, you? All f- like, so the paper said, oh, can we put this? I said, yeah, if you don't make me look bad. I said, I'll do the story with you if you don't make me look bad. I said, I, said, I want to tell you my story about it. I said, but I said, otherwise I'm not giving you authorization of writing about it. I said, I said, it was like, an, I'd explained it to them and they wrote it. It was quite a nice article, what they all done anyway. Yeah. Like the Daily Mail done it independent and a few others. Um, but like, uh, I had like, say out of every thousand comments, there was like, cause there was loads, some of them went massive. Some of them had like 6 million views on some, on like Lad Bible and other yeah, stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But out of say every thousand comments, I was reading every every negative one. <laughs> like, oh, oh <laughs> like, you know, like, you always do. who does this guy think he is? But the, but I had loads of people backing me up, you know, on the negative ones saying, oh, is it right for a guy to get punched at her? Yeah. What would this be like if a woman was on stage with a bloke? Yeah, then that, that's just... Have you ever had anything after a woman since? No, um, I have a friend, like, who knows her and... Apparently she's a nice girl. I think she just had a, <laughs> she's had, a, she's, she's she's had a few drinks. If she's watching, I've got nothing against you. You've done me a load of good, to be honest, because I got about fucking seven thousand new followers off it. Yeah, you know, at the time. What, what gigs are you? Mean, so please it? turn up another gig and try and me. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, hit me. Well, that sort blew up Jim Jeffries, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I wish yeah. I, I know. I wish I'd, if 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 I'd have been, I think earlier in my career, like if if I'd have been, like if if YouTube hadn't have been as like big and it was taking off at the time. I reckon I'd have went massive from it. Yeah, but that, that's all you need to do. That's my advice to new acts. Well, yeah. Battered. Yeah. Just get get one pint glass at your head and you have a career. And then you I don't want them one day now. I want some one of these fucking. I don't TVs. do anything, mate. You've got to get the mate to throw a glass at them and no. just got to hit them in the face. Why are we seeing them? The Monday nights. Just see the Monday nights. Not going to go vile. Just going to be scarred on the face. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jamie. I know. Well, cameras are on sauce. The cameras waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> New actress there with fucking blood down his face. <laughs> fucking joking. Oh, hell, lads. You better throw him past me and not at me yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Monday's on fuck it up. Yeah, that'll go viral. <laughs> Busy comes in, lad. Fucking cameras <laughs> <and> off dickhead. <laughs> His mate gets the wrong act. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said first after the break. You should get a get his goals not like that. Rested. <laughs> you just assaulted them in the cover. Have you have you ever had it where you've, it's gonna kick off with you? Yeah, I um, and it was nothing as well. It was a joke about Liverpool and Manchester. Yeah. <coughs> um, was it about Warrington being? I was just saying or? Warrington being in the middle of yeah. those spaces. Like, why, why are we arguing when it's only Warrington in the middle? Yeah. Is the crux of the joke. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying Manchester has dickheads, Liverpool has dickheads. This guy I trusted Liverpool has dickheads. 
But it was um, a workman. It was not work. It was fucking. I got fucking done, mate. I did a corporate for 50 quid, lad. Barclays, Nutswood Centre, all back tie event. I got 50 quid. 50 quid for yeah. a corporate. Good. That's thousands of pounds lost. I still have nightmares about it. Um, so the setup shit. It's four comics, all open spots. Yeah. We've all been going less than a year. Um, cause we, we all get a 50 quid each. How long have you been going? About a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like 2015, 16. Legend. Um, this, uh, the lad who the lad who booked it was a comic as well. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Sofra, who's good. Um, don't do it anymore. But he works for Barclays. So I've um, got a bit of a budget to have some comics on Christmas and that. All right, sound yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but there's four of us, yeah. And <laughs> lads, we all had to sit on stools on the stage and then just get up and do our bit, like Westlife last night. That's what it was like. Yeah, yeah. Also on was Rick Carr. Yeah, he's an actor now, but he used to do stand up. That Jimmy's brother. Uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> Alan's. Yeah. Um, but he's fucking a unit, mate. Yeah, like yeah. a bouncer and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. He, Big lad. One of your idols. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a good lad. Um, uh, and Dan, Dan's pretty big as well. So I'm doing this thing. And I used to have this persona where I'm a, you know, dead swinging man. Like yeah, Dead yeah, arrogant yeah. sort of, hard man sort of thing. And um, this guy went, what did you just say, lad? And went nose to nose to me. But I, I've never, I've never, I've been in one fight in my life, got fucking banjoed. <laughs> Right, I no, couldn't throw a fucking punch to save my life, and I'm just, I'm fucking shitting myself. I'm like, all I'm shitting it so much. Yeah. Just don't want to be punched in the face. Every day I wake up and I go, I just hope today I don't get punched in the face. Yeah. You're too much of a nice guy for someone to punch in the face. Well, well that, what the, my persona back then was dead arrogance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a bit abrasive. It was ironic, and when it worked, it worked. But when it didn't, it you know it didn't. <laughs> and, um, I. He just squared up to me. I'm fucking shit in a brick, mate. I have to just, I have to stay in my persona, though. Yeah. I can't lose my persona yeah. and, and cower. Do you mm. know what I mean? She has to go fucking do it then, mate. All I want to do is cower. And I'm like, fucking hell, this is it's getting to breaking point here. And just as he pulled back, fucking Rick Carr, thank God for the Westlife setup. Yeah. Because my fu- Rick came in like fucking Brian McFadden from Westlife and just went. Not today, lad. <laughs> I've got good what? technique for you, though. Fucking dragged him. If someone starts you, because yeah. it'll work with your persona as well. I reckon if someone started you, just shit in your hands, just start rubbing it on your face, yeah. not going to punch in the face, are they? <laughs> and it'd work with Jamie Hutchinson, that. Because people would be like, oh, it's Jamie. <laughs> imagine that. Just wait there, mate. Don't hit me. Imagine if you went to start someone. Imagine if you went to start someone. Down, shit in his hand, just clap. Yeah, yeah imagine, imagine if you went to fight someone and they're just shit in their hands. But they'd go, he's got nothing to lose him. What would you do? What would you or seriously you, or, do? Or say if, someone, if someone say I was doing stand up and it was this close and someone from the front row squared like squared up to me, yeah. I'd just look them dead in the eye, yeah, like this, and go, "I'll suck your dick." <laughs> I've just got hard. <laughs> 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 Fucking suck your dick. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's Big John coming to the front row, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've never, no, I've never been started me. Haven't you? No, nope, never. Never, because you're a man. <laughs> you're a man's I'm man, a man's aren't you? Man, yeah. Do you I don't know because your mater- no, your material's not aggressive at all. Is no, it? it's definitely so back. Don't, don't, don't invite it. I think it's yeah. cork edge. You'll start. I think, yeah, I think when I go on stage, though, I think a lot of people just like warm to me, don't do. Yeah, yeah very for, for, uh, instantly yeah. likable. Yes, I think they, they, they don't know the real me. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a cunt. <laughs> 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 it's all an act, baby. <laughs> I'm a fucking gobshite. I, I, it's all that time. I'm dead clean and <laughs> yes. just normal, mate. We're just fakes. We're We've fakes, been faking mate. it for 18 months, yeah, mate. You it smell for, lovely. Yeah, Jamie loves it. mash. Jamie, lo- <laughs> Jamie loves mash. You must, be, you must be doing better, though, now, because you're starting to fucking smash it. You have that. All I see on my like, my comedy page. You'd think so. Is is Jamie sold? <laughs> Jamie's you like the you like a, a cross between if if Johnny Vegas had sex like had, had his sperm mixed with Zach Galifianakis but Alan or the Hangover oh from the Hangover yeah yeah mixed together and I reckon uh, Carl Pilkington yeah you like Carl as well with, got, it's good it's good with a uh, with a stray dog mm. like the smell no no just cute. Oh, <laughs> cute. Like a straight, do you think straight dogs are cute? Yeah. They don't know if they're going to bite you. you, need, you, you, need, you need, he's not going to bite you. need saving, don't they? Oh, I need yeah, saving. Yeah, but they don't know if they're going to bite you. Oh, please. Because then you 
fucking stabbed him in the head. Yeah, yeah. I had to. Ricky, Ricky Gervais will be on your case now. <laughs> <laughs> I got up before. Just in the whole town. I got up before. <laughs> and my girlfriend had the tally pause or whatever. And she was looking at me through the window. In the, the mirror. Yeah. To the bathroom. So what are you doing? I went, oh, I just need to wipe my ass because I forgot before. <laughs> How long later? Though? Didn't you get an itchy ass? That's what prompted me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you should you should marry her now. Yeah. yeah You'll yeah, never yeah. ever find an another. Do you person. like getting your bullet? Never. Then? I said that to her last no. night. You know. Like, I'm not. What What's actually wrong with your missus? What? She's got to be something wrong with her. Um. I, just, to stay with you after that. I think she on just its own. sees me as a project. Ah, oh, mate. There yeah. are projects, see, and I, then there's I'm you. We, Do you see me shit myself? Dogs are put. I'm, I put my legs behind my head, you know, to make a laugh. Because I put my legs behind my head and fart. I thought that would yeah. be funny. But, but, <laughs> I mean, the first bit of that's already too much. Which it is. No, because I'm good at that. Because <laughs> I have to, if I roll a couple of times, I can get my legs behind my head. You are actually a dog. In bed. And I was naked. And I went, what's this? Did it. Farted. But poo come out. And I caught it in my bum cheeks. Was it like, look, is it? You and know, when you spray, how, look, is it? How are, how are you saying that with pride? I what I don't understand there's pride in your I eyes it with a little smirk it face. shouldn't have left your anus to begin with how I'm is this your proud moment <laughs> you're going to have kids one day and they're going to go daddy what's I your proud moment I caught it and waddled to the and toilet that, it was fucking class man. and I just dropped it I just don't get it. I walked one. back into the room and gave her a wink and went yeah you have a real G <laughs> <laughs> does the G stand for gross yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a uh, yeah. I, I love how, how when we were having that conversation there halfway through, like just quietly that people are listening to what I said to you, and it just like you just answered it quickly, and it, when we carried on talking, I said, "Do you like getting your bullet licked?" <laughs> and you went, "Yeah." Oh no, you said no, no didn't you? you? Said no. Asshole. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Do you like getting your bullet? No, no. 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 Why? I like eating ass, mm. but it's no. got to be, it's got to be worn in. Fucking John's definitely coming to the show. Isn't <laughs> it's got, it's 100%. Yeah, come Halloween. after a jog, though, John. I don't want that clean. I, I, I have to. I'll, I'll be honest with you. One of my, one of my I want things, clean in my mouth. I want. I, I have to be clean. Me, I'm a freak um, when it comes to clean. That is, yes. Like so, so, so. If I'm going to a gig, even even this gig tonight, in my car, I've got baby wipes because if I need a shite, I'm not going on with a crinkly crack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I've had a shit like, like when the MC is about to bring us on, and I'm wiping my ass with both ways with the baby wipes, you know, just to make. Because if you wipe it one way, did you know? Have you ever wiped it the other way? Have you ever wiped it the other way? Because you wipe your ass, you wipe your ass like that, don't you? Do you no, I get that. You wipe like four times forward, clean. Yep. Once the other way. Yeah. Fuck it. Brown. Like, what, where was that? That's, have you ever oh, done it? Where was that oh, hiding? Man, you only wipe once anyway. So. I don't really wipe my ass yeah. properly, to be honest. Uh, we, we've gathered. But yeah, Remember you said <laughs> if, you have, if you wipe, if you wipe, right? I'm just trying to think, right? So, right, so, so yeah, well, yeah. Do you stand so, up or wipe your ass as well? I stand up, and wipe my yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same so, so you wipe your ass, right? You go backwards, so you get shit, and then, and then you, if you keep wiping, and then it goes clean. But then if you stand up and you go towards your balls, it'll be dirty. Really? Oh yeah, it's minging, and you'll, 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 it'll change your life. Honestly, you'll go fucking hell, my ass is still dirty. Oh my god. Yeah. Honest. So I could have a shitty ass right now. Baby, yeah, you probably got a shit. Yeah, if you go and wipe that other way now on the toilet, I guarantee you. I bet. I mean, what you what I've you've always got, Tony? Though <laughs> you've always got the second cleanest bum hole in this pub, in this room. Yeah, I, you've always got him next to you. Yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Um, Captain Crinkly Crack there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been Crinkly Crack. I've been I've been over and spread my cheeks for my misses once. I don't know, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> what does it look like? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen me all. She said it looks so. Oh, <laughs> oh the piles and that. Proper yeah. red. That's because you're ginger, though, isn't it? Yeah. Jackin, jackin. It's proper like a baboon's cheek. <laughs> it's class. It's hard to laugh. Fucking loving me. Just love assholes. They're hilarious. You ever stared at an anus while it farts and it vibrates? Does it? Fucking mint, man. I love all that, man. But yeah, I'm just a big fan of skid marks and poo in general, really. Yeah. <laughs> Take the smell of it. Uh, yeah, I, I oh, don't do you know, do you know what I, I hate? One of my pet, oh, one of my pet hates is because I like to have a shit in peace. I love having a shit at home. I think it's one of the most underrated things in the world. Joe, Joe, yeah. Joe what's a good shit technique? Yeah, I've said this before on here. I've changed people's lives with it. Take all your clothes off, 
right? And you put a towel around yeah, it. Yeah, I always do that. I always do that. I say, fuck I've, off. I, I swear on my life, my missus will guarantee you this. I always say to my missus, I've got the towel around me again. Yes! <laughs> I've got the towel around me, fully naked with the towel around me. How good is it? Yes, oh it my is. God. This, 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 is, the- this is the real reason you didn't go pro boxer. <laughs> <laughs> in the corner of the ring with the good towel around you, having a dump. Because I threw the towel in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put it in and around. It's nice getting comfy it's with so the towel. Good, oh, it's it? amazing. Honestly, do you know what? Wait there, I'm going to show you now. So That's you know, this is not a lie. If I put towel into it's my mint. phone now, I bet you there's a, a conversation where I've WhatsApped it because I WhatsApp her and I always tell her, look, 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 look at this. Read that. Wish I had a towel for my head now. Oh, oh, bad, terrible time. The old pizza stomach. Why the fuck do I do it to myself? <laughs> look, so that's t- I and then look, 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 how many times? Look. Love um, it. And then um, I always do it. I do the towel. And you know what I do with my missus, which she'll admit this. And if you looked at my missus, you'll go, why the fuck is she still with him? Every time I have a, a shit for some reason, I just send her a voice recording for the crack of listening to it. I go, do, do, do. Oh, we, yeah, we, <laughs> f- we fart on voice, not to each other. Do you have me to show you one? No, no. <laughs> do it on there and put it on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to show it? Well, that's how we'll end the pod. <laughs> James Kilvinson having a shit. <laughs> 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 this is hard. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Green Room Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and find one. Oh. Let me just make sure. Yeah, me, me and Laws fart on each other all the time. Hey, look, look at this one. Look, look. Look, what does that say there? <laughs> it's that Tandoori special one. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like a puppy body fruit. <laughs> it's non stop, this. Haven't stopped. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's just happening? <laughs> you just playing the voice out of him shitting. Listen, yeah, it's just non stop. It's just non stop. Bobby Burner's everywhere. Bobby Burner's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's so clear in the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> At least you'll get some weird people with fetishes just oh. wanking at that bit. Jesus oh, Christ. God. And that's why we do it, guys. I, I, yeah, I love, I love all sort of... I just find it hilarious. Bums and fans. No, that's just, that's, just, that's, just, that's just too far for me. It's just it's so oh, funny. It's just a poo, isn't it, man? Do I poo, blood, do sick. Just stay away from the wall. I always... I'm always thinking about shit. Do I find me in a lift with people? I just you think, can't oh, just say that and then brush on to it. Oh, you know when you're in the lift? Like, that's not a normal oh, I forgot, sentence I forgot to say what my worst point. thing was. So when you said about the towel, which I forgot to, uh, the, the reason, my worst thing is going in a public toilet, right? And you're having a nice poo, right? And you're nice and comfy, and then suddenly someone comes in the door, <coughs> the door next to you, and they go, and they hear them having a shit, and they're going, and you're like, and you, I, and you don't know if it's your you know smell I, or their oh, smell. Do you know, you know what I do? If I'm in a, well, I don't go public toilet, I go, if it, I go to hotel toilets, hotel yeah, toilets yeah. are always Max Spencer's the toilets are alright as well. Yeah, you, you know, don't you? You have a little disabled one. Disabled one's the best. I love public But toilets. if you're in a cubicle one, in a hotel one, I wait for someone to do a hair drive and then I release it. Yeah, but I'm on you about... You know what I mean? Because I, 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 an- I get anxious, I don't want anyone to hear them. I'm if someone shit. comes in the cubicle next to you. You know what I mean? No, I don't. So, um, yeah, I'm saying, so if I'm if I'm having a shit and then I hear the door go, someone's walked in, I'm like, shit. Yeah, but like I'm like that. A, I'm and then when wait for them to make noise and when they're making noise, that's when I go. I'm on about when they have a shit next to you and you and, the, and then you start to get the smell and you think, is that my shit or their shit? So you don't know if you're breathing your shit in or their shit. That's no, one worst. side. I, it is how this is. You get what I mean? How's yeah, this yeah, yeah. for friendship, Horrible. yeah? My oldest mate, yeah, right? Friends since school, since I was about 10 or whatever, right? Worked in the same call centre. I knew he was having a shit by the sound of his strain. Now that's friendship, isn't it? By the sound of what? By the sound of his. Oh, and he the was in your, of it. And, yeah. he, and he was in your house. <laughs> no, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> so he was in. He was in the first cubicle. Yeah. And I went in cubicle one to have a shit. I was just having a shit in the chat, but across the cubicles. And you knew. So he went. Oh, you got the fucking. You know, just <laughs> slagging work off. And I had a nightmare customer before. I went, oh, the fucking cunts, are they, lad? <laughs> you know, like that, talking to each other, yeah. And, uh, and then we just laughing at each other, you because know, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, Shitting. Yeah. And then uh, someone came in. <laughs> someone came in, cubicle two, while we're in the middle. So we went, both went silent. And, it, and we texted and went, lad, I'm dying to laugh here, you know. And he went, don't. And as soon as they strained, 
think of this from the Toilet 2 perspective, yeah? They've just come into a cubicle, all silent, and the first time <laughs> the poo plops, <laughs> me and my mate burst out laughing. <laughs> Imagine how self-conscious you'd be. <laughs> it was so good. Oh. That was one of my favourite ever shits. More uh, <laughs> next week. Oh, podcast. yeah. Plug me show. Oh, plug your show. Yeah, go on, mate. 6th of October, hot water. I'll be there if you want to hear stories yeah, about no it. Yeah, com- no one's coming to that. Yeah, no one's <laughs> coming. I'll be putting <laughs> Not from this podcast. <laughs> I don't want... The, you know what? Don't come. If, you like, if you've enjoyed this podcast, don't come to the show. I don't want you in the venue. You're obviously a freak. You can all stink of crap. Wipe your bums. Burning all the seats after that show. It's his own there. <laughs> I'm I don't like poo. I hate, I hate any bodily poo. Too. I, I don't do. I don't do no material on poo, but I might now. I might go on as Jamie's support act and do it. Can I come on as your support? I can talk about poo. Yeah, just we'll just have a shit show. Yeah, <laughs> the shit show. <laughs> what a shit show this has been. Yeah, but we'll, we'll rebrand it. And your comedy club in Stockton. Yeah, I've got. I've got a few that I run. I run a few nights anyway. So just follow James Kilvin and Comedy on Facebook or Instagram. And oh, that will we'll tag that in the episode description. Yeah. Patreon. You get seven day free trial. Come and uh, dip your toe in paradise before having a swim, baby. Um, the live show will be on there now. Uh, Seventy odd uh, bonus episodes. Um, another live, a couple of more live shows on there as well from the past. And my tour show, second date hot water, nineteenth of November, and the fourth show at the Frog and Bucket on the fourteenth of November. And if you're in Brighton, please come to Brighton because we are. We are struggling in Brighton, so um, get a tickets and knock a seagull out or something, whatever. Tony Cannell yes, friends. Tony Cannell friends, um, Tuesday the 18th of July. Get your tickets now, the last three or four have been sold out, so come down. It's going to be a surprise acts on the night, loads of carnage, you know how we do it. So yeah, come down. All right. Fuck also, off. also oh. send Jamie uh, pictures of your favourite poos uh, for a chance to win two free tickets to his next tour show at Hot Water Comedy Club. <laughs> in Brighton. All That's fine. Jamie Hutchinson, not James Kilvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To either. But they all love poo. Send, s- send your favourite poos. Top 10 poos will be posted online by Jamie. Don't, uh, our voice notes. Don't, <laughs> don't leave my send, voice notes. Don't send me poo, send me nudes. <laughs>